Hello and welcome to the new project video. Okay, um, this is just so that you there, there's a few fundamental, um, really important fundamental things here that you need to learn that will save you so much hassle in the future. So when you initially open Cubase, go to File, New Project, um, select Empty. Now you can all these are all templates. You can create your own templates. Um, I'll show you how to make basic templates and advanced templates in later videos but for now um, I'm just going to show you um, some fundamental things that you need to understand about um, projects in fact we'll close that first the first thing you should do is on your hard drive somewhere create a folder called Cubase song files do that first before you do anything then you go file new project empty project then the select a directory bo uh, box comes up. So what you're looking for here is the the uh, Cubase song files folder that I just told you to find. Select that and then hit create. Here is where you name the song file folder. So this is going to be song 1. If I hit OK, it then shows you song 1. It's selected. We go OK and that's it. So we've now got um, a project created um, and everything's going to be saved in that folder. First thing you'll notice is this project's called Untitled 1 because we haven't saved it yet. So the first thing to do is go File, Save As. It takes us straight to Song 1 folder and we'll call it Song 1. Now you can see it's called Song 1. Okay, now, folder structure. Let me just explain some things to you. Okay, in Song 1, the folder we just created, this is the process. It creates a folder called Song 1, and in that folder you will have an audio folder, and the when you go to File, Save As, it creates the CPR, the Cubase project file. Now, in the audio folder, all audio used in this um, song, um, or this project, will be um, put into audio. Now, there's a few ways we can make that happen automatically, which is very important. I'm just going to show you this briefly because it's explained in a further video um, uh, later on. But if you go to File, Preferences, there's a couple of things you should do in here actually. But the first one, if you go to Editing and then Audio, you'll see here On Import Audio Files. Um, now yours will probably be set to Open Options Dialog. Let's just do that for the moment. So if you set that to Open Options Dialog, then hit OK. And now, if you go File, Import, Audio File, and just import any audio file, you'll get this box that comes up. All, we, all you're worried about at this moment in time is click on Copy File to Working Directory and hit Do Not Ask Again. Now, if we go back to the audio, fo the audio folder that we were looking at a second ago, as you can see, there's nothing in there at the moment. So when I hit OK, right, we've just imported that audio file into our Cubase project. And we just told it that whenever we import a Cubase in here, whenever we import an audio file into Cubase, copy that file to the working directory. The working directory is the audio folder within the song project. So there, and now you can see it's in there. And basically that's the file and that's the file that is drawn there. Now if we go back one, you'll also see a new folder called images. Basically, that image, that is this image. That allows Cubase to draw these images. That's all it is. So, um, so that's um, the new uh, the new project. There is one other folder that will pop up. Let me just see if it's in one of my um, other project files. Um, edits. You see that edits folder there. Basically, what that is, if there's any offline processing being done, any fading or any crossfades, sorry, edits is just for offline processing. You will get another, so any offline processing you do will be put into there, into the edits folder. There is another one that should be called um, freeze. That's That folder is created if you freeze any of the VSTs or any of the channels. Again, that will be explained later on. And 
And I think that's probably it. Yeah, that's it. So that's your folder structure. Now, please pay particular attention to this. Um, really do make sure that for every Cubase project you create, you create a brand new folder within your Cubase video folder. Um, it will make a lot of difference, especially later on when you finished your track and you, you want to get it ready for mixing and mastering. So um, uh, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.